So then, let's continue. As I already said, uh, we're going to need an app. It's called SketchUp Make. Let's search for it. Nothing difficult, I've already said that it's free and can be downloaded from directly from the developer's website. There are many languages available. Choose whichever one you like. I personally prefer English version. There's an inconspicuous download link here. I click on it and download the app. Okay. It has been downloaded to your downloads folder, most likely. There's no need for me to tell you how to install it. Just double click on it, run it, and let the install program do the rest. So, the app has been installed, it's time for us to use it. The first time you run the app and click on Start using SketchUp, the list of available templates is shown. I prefer millimeters. Really doesn't play a crucial role, so let's choose millimeters and let's go. First thing we're gonna do is we'll delete the cardboard person. Also, let's close the instructor window so it wouldn't distract us with its animation. Here's the virtual space we're working. But it's not the 3D space we need, but the top view. So, just the last time, go camera, parallel projection. Camera, standard views, top. To drag the space back and forth, hold the shift key and move the mouse around in the middle button click. Sounds like that. I'll put the axis to the lower left corner. In Components tab I'm searching for Kazam. Though it would be better if I typed it in English. There. The app searches the internet and finds a whole list. Let's click on the green link. And the 3D warehouse window opens up with Kazam equipment in it. In the 3D warehouse in the collections tab, I find the dynamic components. Among them, I need room walls. Looks a bit simple at first glance, but... Uh-huh. It wants us to log in before it lets us download anything. Well, that's easy enough. Let's go to our browser and Google search for Login Trimble. There. The first link is what we need. The dialog window opens up. In my case it's in Russian. And there's a link to create a new account. Then the new window opens up with a form to fill. I'll fill my own info, and you please fill your own. Once it's done, we'll go back to the app and continue. Now I have an account. I guess you do too. Let's try this again. Dynamic components. There are the walls. I click download. The app asks me to log in. Let's enter the email address. Click next and the password. Nice, I'm in. Of course the terms of use. Of course. And I accept them. Of course. I click the download button and at last the walls are downloaded. At first glance, very simple thing, but it's a dynamic component, so we can change its parameters. Go window, component options, and here you see two parameters, length, x, by the red axis, and width, y, by the green axis. I know that the length is 6.6 .6 meters, so I type in the parameter in an according field. The parameter is made in centimeters. I press enter, and first thing we see, the length has changed. That the width is by the green axis, and it's 5.85 meters. 
hit enter and you will see the width has changed now we have the main space that we can divide with partitions add windows doors and the bathroom and I'm going to show you how In dynamic components tab in the collections, there is an even simpler at first glance component partition that is useful. Let's download it. We know that the width of our room is 585 meters or 585 centimeters. Let's enter this parameter. The length of partition has changed. Let's move the partition, grab it by the corner, move it to the lower left corner. That way it would be easier to make a room with the desired length by moving along the red axis. Start moving it along and type in the length 3800 millimeters, which equals to 3.8 meters. The numbers are displayed in the field in the lower right corner of the screen. Hit enter and the partition jumps to its place. Nice. Next step, we need to add a vestibule and a bathroom. Let's start with the bathroom. There is no need to download the room walls component again. We just copy the ones we have and reuse them. Let's select them and use the move tool. Yeah, it's not very intuitive for copying. Press control key, no need to hold it, and move the selection. Here, the walls component is copied with all its parameters. Now, let's change its parameters. Length is 150 centimeters by the red axis, and the width is 85 centimeters by green axis. And here's our bathroom. Let's place it. First, drag it by the corner to the upper right corner of the main room. And I know that the space between the wall and the bathroom is 1.3 meters, which is uh, 1300 millimeters. So let's select the walls, move them along the green axis using the move tool and typing in 1300. Next, let's make a vestibule using the same method. Copy the component and change its parameters. In this case, they are 180 centimeters by the red axis and 95 centimeters by the green axis. Good, as I mentioned, changed. Next, let's place it roughly in the center of the left room, something like that. Now. We have a main room that's divided by the partition. We have a vestibule and a bathroom. Next, we're going to add some doors to move around the rooms, windows to have an illumination, and thus we'll create a beautiful layout of the room. Let's go to the collections in the warehouse again. Let's find the door in the dynamic components and download it. Here's our door. Its opening is 90 centimeters, but it will be wider, about 110 centimeters most likely, because it's an entrance door. So let's change its length parameters to 110. The length has increased. Let's drag it by the corner, uh -uh. the lower left corner, and align it by the wall. Now let's move it by the red axis roughly to the center of the vestibule. Good, we have it where we want it. Now let's copy it using Move Tool, press Control, start moving it, align by the wall, and move it to the center of the vestibule. There is an entrance to the room now. Two doors. One leads to the vestibule, the other to the room itself. 
now we can enter but we still have a bathroom and the partition so to add another door let's use the method we've gotten used to and copy the door to rotate the door click one of the red crosses and rotate by 90 degrees drag it by the corner to the wall to align it and move it along the wall to place it where you want there I have aligned it by the wall and I'll move it over here now the opening it's not going to be 110 centimeters it's probably going to be 80 centimeters in this case now it has become shorter, let's move it to its place and add a door for a bathroom. Again, copying the one we have. Too wide, isn't it? Let's fix it. The opening will probably be 70 centimeters. Good, we've placed all the doors. Now we can move around the rooms, but there is still no illumination. So, what I need is, let's click the green link, go to the collections, then dynamic components, and find the window. Here's the window, by default its length is 1 meter, but it's going to be at least 1.2 meters, so let's type in 120 and hit enter. Its length has changed, let's grab it by the cross and rotate it by 90 degrees. And let's grab it by its corner and place it, uh -huh. bugged out a bit. I can align by the wall. That's okay though. Let's just place it without a perfect alignment. All we need is for it to be above the wall. And also let's put another one in the next room. Move tool, hit control, grab it by the corner, move it. No, oh, look, it's aligned by the wall this time. I'll move it by the green axis. And there. Now we have doors and windows. Now you can place everything you need here. Racks, equipment, including kitchen equipment. Let me show you how to do it. I, to be honest, don't really like it when the drawing is crossed by one of the axes. Nothing wrong with it, just my preference, so I'll move it a little. Just like that. Now let's continue. One of the things we saw in the picture, oh and by the way don't forget to save your drawing, are racks. Simple racks to hold your production. There are no racks in our collections. Simply because there are no racks in our collections simply because there is no need for them to be there. You already know how to draw rectangles. And the window that racks with is 60 centimeters. Let's start drawing the line by the green axis and type in 600. 600 millimeters is 60 centimeters. Hit enter. Next, we know that the width of the left room is 3.8 meters. So we'll start drawing the line by the red axis and type in 3800. Again, by the green axis, 600 and close the rectangle. Nice. We have a rack. Now let's put it into its place. I want to select the object just like I did right now. Double click it. By the way, SketchUp has this interesting aspect. Say there are two intersecting objects. If 
I'll select and try to move one of them, it will result in the other deforming. So to avoid it, so to avoid it, it'll be better to convert a created object into a component. To do so, double click your object to select it, right click on it and choose make component. Now let's name it. Uh, in this case we will call it a rack. And it creates, just give it a moment, it creates a component. Good, we have a rack. But there are more than one of them. Now let's draw the second one. In this case we'll start drawing by the red axis and type in 600. Then continue by the green axis. To estimate the length by the green axis, watch the field in the lower right corner as you move pencil back and forth. It gives us the idea that 1.8 meters is just what we need. Now we have a second rack. Select it, right click it, and choose Make Component. I'll name it Rack 2. <laughs> rack 1, Rack 2. I feel like I'm naming cheap movies. Anyway, there are more racks in the lower left and right corners. You already know how to draw it, no need for me to tell you. Let me just quickly draw them. This one I think is going to be 1100 by 600 millimeters, and I'll convert it into a component and name it Rack 3. And one more, I think its length is about 1800 millimeters by 600 millimeters. Again, make component and name it Rack 4. Um, there are two more to be drawn yet. Let's just copy and flip the ones we have. Just as I showed you before, use the move tool hit control to copy. And all that's left is to flip them. To do so, right click the selected objects and choose Flip Along, red direction. There it is, the horizontal one. Good, now let's move it into the corner. Seems to be fine except the fact that the rack covers the door partially. I'll move the door. Of course I understand that you're not going to be moving an existing wall opening so easily. Yeah, you're going to change the rack dimensions. But in this particular case, the wall opening is imaginary. So is the whole room. So, <laughs> I can cheat a bit and move. Okay. Uh, what would be our next step? Besides the fact that we have racks, we also have a counter. It's placed somewhere around here. It's just as easy to draw. Let's say its length is about 1.2 meters. Maybe even one and a half meters. And the width is again going to be 600 millimeters. Let's change its color. To do so, go to the Materials tab, select Colors. And I think black gray color would suit it well, so it would differ from the others. Then let's select it and convert it. Oh, by the way, don't convert it into a group. That's used for other purposes. The counter is ready. Nice. Put it into its place. Now you have a room for a shop fitted with a counter and lots of racks. And all of it is placed in a small apartment. See? It's a small business already. Oh, by the way, uh, there is a place for a rack here as well, but it's not for your products. It will probably be your office rack. You already know how to draw it. I'm not going to. But in the lower right corner, let me show you, there is a refrigerator here. Of course, I'm not going to make you draw it one for. 
So, among the Kazama components, there is already a pre-made one. The green link brings us to a warehouse, collections, kitchen components. And here is the fridge. Click the download button. Now it's on my drawing board. And let's place it in the corner. Next, as you've seen, there is a table with a granite top. It's as always in the warehouse. The collections, equipment, because it's a part of our equipment. There it is, the granite table. Turn book with its questions. Come on. Industry. Architecture. The language doesn't matter. Let's go. And say the architecture, yeah. Uh -huh. Finish. Now that Trimble has laid off of me, I can download the table with the granite tabletop and place it next to the fridge. Beautiful. I like it. Now, as you already saw in the picture, there should be two sinks here. They are, of course, in our warehouse. Oh, would you look at that? Turnbull has changed the language. Ah, it's not going to confuse me. In the kitchen components, we'll find kitchen sink. Let's place and copy it as I've showed you. Select the sink, click on move to hit control and then loop. Now we have two sinks and there should be a table next to them. You know how to draw it, but let's do it together. I'll just use the corners and uh, won't type any dimensions. Now paint it light gray. And, of course, I'll convert it into a component. Huh, look at me changing my own language as well. Let's call it a kitchen table. On this side, as you remember from the image, there is a table for a tabletop equipment and it's going to be rather long. You already guessed it, right? 600 millimeters by the green axis I think 2 meters and let's close the rectangle or of course I'll paint it light gray and of course I'll convert it into a component let's name it a table for equipment Now, on an image, you've seen some tabletop equipment for a small production. You know where it is, so let's go get them. Kaz uh, wrong language again. Kazama. Click the green link to get to warehouse and go to... Oh! The interface is back to English. Nice. Okay. Go to collections, equipment. The first thing I want to add is a small coating around. And there it is. I've downloaded it. Now I'll rotate it and place it onto the table. I don't want it to hang around in the air. Next, let's add a mini guitar. Back to warehouse, then collections, equipment, And there it is, the mini guitar. Click on download. Next, uh, let's rotate it with the handle towards the person. Now, with this equipment, we can make drage and we can coat some stuffing in chocolate. Next, we need an incubator.
there it is yes please I'd like to download it because I'm an incubator let's rotate it and place it onto the table and all that's left is wheel chocolate tempering machine and vibrating table let's go to the warehouse collections, equipment, and where is it? ah, there it is let's rotate it so it faces the person who's going to be standing from this side now let's place it under the table and all we have left is a vibrating table again Warehouse, collections, equipment, and there it is, the vibrating table. Let's download it, turn its grid towards the machine and place it onto the table. And look, here's your mini production. You can make dodge, bars, bonbons. Here's your production room, and here's your shop. You can make it and sell it while it's fresh. Next, you've seen the dimension on an image. Let me show you how to make them. The dimension tool is hidden though. It's in tools, dimensions. There, the 5.85 meters. tools, dimensions, and there the 3.8 meters. Next we have 2.6 meters. This room width is 3.3 meters. And as you remember, the bathroom width is 85 centimeters and the length is a meter and a half. This width was 1.3 meters as you remember and the length is again 2.6 meters the vestibule is 1.8 meters by 90 oops misclicked by 95 centimeters now you know your space where's your equipment placed and what you can make and sell in this apartment so designer are you ready to build your business